Morning Sunday. A man walks several blocks to safety after an overnight shooting in Kansas City. We're live with an update on his condition. And Kansas City firefighters save a home from flames overnight. Details on the damage straight ahead. Cleanup efforts continue at the St. Louis airport after strong weekend storms cause heavy damage. What travelers need to know coming up. Good morning and happy Easter. Welcome to It's Your Morning Sunday on KCTV 5. The time is now 1031 on this April 24th. I'm Mark Boyle alongside Iris Nermosillo. And Iris, uh, some rain for some residents, but uh, it's better than what it was looking like earlier. Yeah, you know, models a couple of days ago were bringing just rain mm -hmm. through the entire Kansas City area. Today, though, we're looking at the trends, and it looks like it's trending much more south of here. Great news for the Kansas City area, but still some areas within our viewing area getting rain this morning, and we'll continue to get rain through much of the day. Now, Kansas City right now in the clear, we're just seeing clouds out there, and some areas actually seeing a little bit of clearing this morning, so you may even catch a glimpse of the the sun. Great opportunity to do those Easter activities at least early this afternoon. Now, as we look further off to our southeast, Clinton, Sedalia, unfortunately, I wish I could say the same, but you guys are actually getting several rounds of just showers rolling through the area. Maybe have heard a rumble of thunder or two this morning. Looks like the showers are thinning out just a bit, but this area really going to be prone to seeing more showers again later this afternoon. Again, you see that rain moderate and fairly light in nature, though, in most areas. Temperature right now at KCI, 48 degrees. It feels like it's 45 degrees. We have a nice light breeze, and by noontime, we're not going to warm up too much. Our temperature by noon, only 53 degrees. The rain should remain southeast of the metro. However, by this afternoon, we do start seeing the slight chance of rain moving in. And all coming or coming up in my Storm Track 5 forecast, I'll tell you when the rain could possibly fall. And then we'll talk about how widespread it's going to be or where it's going to be the heaviest. So you can plan ahead as you are going to be heading out the door. I'm assuming with many, mm -hmm. uh, what many people are doing, are heading out, enjoying some time with the kids, maybe doing some Easter egg hunts. So I'll tell you what you can expect this afternoon and as we head into the work week. Mark. If you're in one of those areas though that it's raining, it's not going to dampen those Easter egg hunts. You no. might just have some wet kids out there. You know, and, and that's the thing. It's not raining too terribly right. hard. We're not seeing too many thunderstorms either. Maybe just a, a few rumbles of thunder. So even if you are getting some showers, yeah. I'm sure the kids don't mind it Make at all. Make for a good story. Exactly. Thanks so much, Iris. An overnight shooting leaves one person dead in the hospital and a family shaken up. KCTV 5's Sandra Olivas joins us live in Kansas City to explain. Sandra? Mark, that victim ran to this apartment here for help. Kansas City, Missouri police are now investigating a rolling gun battle overnight that injured this innocent person who was caught in the crossfire. Take a look. This all happened near 38th and Woodland in Kansas City, Missouri around midnight. A 58-year-old man was walking in the area when suddenly two cars started shooting at each other. After the bullet hit him, that man actually kept on going. He walked all the way over here for about 10 blocks for help. He went to a relative's house here at 46th and Emanuel Cleaver Boulevard. That's where they call 911. Now the victim was taken to the hospital and we're being told that he has life-threatening injuries. In the meantime, police continue to investigate this shooting. There is no word right now on the suspects or even a description of the vehicles involved in that rolling gun battle. But of course, we'll have another update for you later on on our evening news. Reporting live here off of Emanuel Cleaver Boulevard, I'm Sandra Olivas for KCTV 5 News. Thanks so much, Sandra. Any updates will be on KCTV5.com as well. Firefighters battled flames overnight to the home in Kansas City. Two people were inside at around 2.30 this morning at 9300 Lewis Avenue when fire sparked in the attic. Both residents were able to make it out safely. It took firefighters about 20 minutes to get the flames under control. So far, investigators haven't been able to determine what started the fire. One woman is recovering after her car went off a road and into a ravine. Around 4 this morning, police began receiving calls from those concerned about a car down in an embankment near the intersection of Vivian and Bellevue in Kansas City. When police found her, she was trapped inside and had to be rescued by officers. The woman was taken to the hospital where she's expected to recover. So far, police aren't sure why her car went off the road. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon says the trail of destruction left behind by Friday's severe storms and tornadoes is the longest he's ever seen. The governor arrived at the heavily damaged Lambert St. Louis International Airport yesterday afternoon with plans to tour three of the most heavily damaged areas. 
While looking at the destruction, he marveled that no one was seriously hurt. Now, this is mile after mile after mile of complete devastation for people's personal lives. I have never, uh, you know, in my 20 years of, of being around this stuff, seen a debris field and a damage field as long as this one. It's almost like this storm picked up power as it came across uh, the region. Nixon said President Obama called and pledged federal support for disaster victims and to help out with airport repairs as well. Japanese leaders plan to unleash a major two-day search effort tomorrow involving nearly 25,000 soldiers with help from police, the Coast Guard, and some U.S. troops. They'll be trying to find some of the 12,000 people still missing in the earthquake and tsunami in northern part of the country. About 14,000 people are confirmed dead. And St. Peter's Square is the site for Easter Sunday services this morning. That's where Pope Benedict celebrated Mass and gave his traditional Easter greetings in dozens of languages. Pope Benedict has a big week next week, too, with the beautification of Pope John Paul II. During his Easter ceremony, Pope Benedict stressed humanity isn't a random product of evolution. He said creative divine reason was there at the beginning. And closer to home here in the metro, Kansas City's biggest Easter festival will take place at Hyde Park. The 14th annual Easter egg hunt at 38th and Gillum runs from 12.30 to 2.30 this afternoon. In addition to the big Easter egg hunt, the event will feature a variety of entertaining activities for kids and families. The event is free and open to the public. Well, the time is now 10.37. Coming up, the president of Yemen announces plans to step down. Find out when he'll be out of office next. And Easter Sunday is starting off a little bit overcast with some areas of rain. Coming up, I'll tell you where the showers will continue to fall this afternoon. Your Storm Track 5 weekend forecast is just minutes away. It's your morning Sunday. We'll be right back.